Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna do what I packed in my house bag for my baby. I don't have everything with me. I will insert some pictures for stuff maybe that I don't have because he's not a newborn anymore. He is three months old. But I just wanna show you what I brought for him when we went to the hospital. So the first thing I have is our baby book. I brought this because I wanted them to put his feet prints in here. And I know I could do it like at home and stuff, but I just wanted it to be done by them. And they did do it for us, which was really nice. Nice. And so they were able to do it for us in here and then they gave us a little ink pad to where we could do his handprints at home because they did only do his feet print um, so we tried and we did his handprints as well. So we brought this and then another thing that I brought was the welcome sign that we have for him which was this when we took his pictures and then I didn't actually write on it. I didn't have like the marker for it and I didn't want to just get any markers so I just photoshopped it on there when I took his picture and this is where I keep all his stuff I absolutely love this um it has like the little photo thing so I can get it each month and then has like his hospital stuff in there as well I didn't bring this whole thing to the hospital another thing that I brought was of course my baby bag is where I put all his stuff this is kind of exactly how it was when we brought it to the hospital and so I'm trying to show you guys so it's just like this it has like a front pocket and then it has this like side pocket and there's like a divider right in the middle and then this is where like his diapers wipes and changing mats go and sanitizing wipes and then on this side you has like the insulin um where you can put like a bottle or something in there but this is exactly how i had it i had different passies in here because i didn't know which ones he would like he's actually not a passy baby he does not like the passies so i still just keep this on here maybe one day he'll like the passies i have this and it's just like the little bags for his diapers we didn't use this at the hospital um we didn't use a lot of stuff at the hospital from here and then i did have a hand sanitizer in here just to make sure everything was nice and clean as far as like our hands the hospital had hand sanitizer as well we did bring his first blanket which was this like baby yoda one because it was very cold when i gave birth and then later on which i would have loved to have this one when um i gave birth but it's just a smaller blanket just to cover him in like the car seat and it's the Serenoni brand but this one we use like all the time just to like cover his feet and he loves it and then this one now just like covers his car seat from like the sun and then another thing we brought were swaddles we did not use these at the hospital we just used the ones the hospital gave us um just because these ones were like really thin and he mostly just stayed in like the hospital outfit and the hospital swaddles and then i think like the last day we finally changed him into like the onesies we brought him and then of course he's going a home outfit Fit, but I did pack these in there another thing I packed were these just in case we needed them these are just like the muslin ones it came with like a 10 pack we use these now all the time so definitely recommend those and then I do have these I don't use these um, but they're just like over the shoulder like burp rags I did pack these in there as well they have like a towel side and then like a muslin side but yeah I packed that in there and then these aren't his newborn outfits but we did pack like two zip up like hands and feet cover onesies um, onto the ones we did bring and then we brought his going home outfit with which was also a newborn it was like a three-piece had like a hat a shirt and pants and then this thing i definitely recommend i know a lot of people like videos i watch they brought like a sound machine or stuff like in like the hatch and stuff or just like music on their phone but this thing is the hatch like i guess like travel one and we use this when he came into the mommy and baby room and i got so many compliments from it and i just like it made the room just so calming for him we did have the music on in the hospital and like a lot of like the nurses and stuff when they would i think they took him out twice for his um little surgery and then when they did his screening test and every time the nurse came back they'd be like oh we were trying to figure out like what that sound was and then we realized it was like on your little sound machine and they're like asking me like what it was and then it was really cool so this i feel like just makes like the room really calming and there's like different settings um but now he really likes like the heartbeat on here so when we put him in his car seat i just strap this onto like the little carrying part and i put the heartbeat on and he just loves it and he'll fall asleep and when we traveled from tennessee to here in colorado this was a lifesaver we just turn it on put like his passy he didn't like it but he would just like stuff on it and then he'd go to sleep 
So yeah, I definitely recommend this. The battery lasts so long. Like I don't think we ever charged it in the hospital and we were there for like three nights. So yeah, it lasts a very long time and it's just super travel friendly. I packed a bunch of stuff in like these pockets. I did not use any of this, but I had like this like passy clip. This is a passy from the hospital when he had his surgery. And then these things that like connect so like you don't lose them. I don't know, I just put them in here just in case. Um, I did not use any of that. And then I had like teethers, like I know he wasn't gonna use these, but these are in there as well that I've had. And then the other thing I packed were a pair of socks because it was cold, um, but we ended up not actually using these as socks. Um, I didn't have like those little mittens and in my going home outfit did not have like those little hand covers and then his two zip up onesies that we actually brought into the hospital. He did have a blowout in them and he peed through them so we, couldn't put those ones on him so we only had his going home outfit and so i just put these on his hands i have a picture i'll insert um but yeah they worked really well yeah i just brought these we use these all the time still now they're just like super soft sock and his little toesies get really cold um now that he's more like doing more tummy time and stuff i try not to put these on him anymore just so that he has like grip with his toes and stuff but we were using these a lot when he was a newborn and then that's pretty much it this thing was usually packed with like newborn diapers and and wipes right now it literally has no diapers in it because he just changed into a new size and then this is also very helpful when he had his little surgery when we put the petroleum jelly and we were like out traveling so yeah I definitely keep this in here I also use the bigger one for his spray on diaper cream and then I just kind of spread this um, but this is also something I packed in here and then just like sanitizing wipes because again when we were traveling I was using like their changing tables I eventually just started doing it in the car just because I feel like some changing tables were just really really gross and I didn't want to put them on there because he was a newborn so yeah i kept a pack of these in there and um, this is his like travel one i also still put this on the changing table i sanitize it and then i put this on the changing table um, but it's just like a leather mat and it's by ava and oliver and yeah i use this every time i change him <laughs> in the public restrooms um, and then just like a pack of wipes his diapers these wipes are okay i like them but they're just not continuous like once you pull once you constantly have to keep like fishing your fingers in there but i still really like them another thing we ended up having in here was like petroleum jelly which we don't have in here anymore but yeah that was everything that i packed in my hospital bag i'm gonna double check and make sure that i didn't forget anything but mostly everything was provided at the hospital we did not use like the wipes or diapers or anything we just used ones that the hospital had and yeah that's pretty much it but yeah this is the baby bag again it has like a divider so you can put like your stuff up here and then it has like a floor and then you just put this little basket at the bottom instead of it just being like a giant hole of like a bag um so yeah i really like this my sister got it for me but yeah that is all i packed in my hospital bag for him um i did make one for what i brought for myself and my husband if you guys want to check that one out i posted that one last week but yeah i really didn't pack much for him he had a lot of stuff provided and if i did need anything else we were going to be home and i could just get it when we got there but yeah, my little one is done doing tummy time. So I will talk to you guys later and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.